fellow hobbyists, collectors, and pray heads alike, I want to welcome you to my channel, Predator Collectibles, where I am your host, Glennon Taylor. Now, before I get into today's review, I have a very special and cool announcement to make. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video to find out what that is. I'm very excited to find out about it for the beginning of the month of April. Now, normally on my videos, or in this case, my channel, I have looked at so far action figures, comic book statues, even sometimes some movie production used props, but I figured today would be a little bit much more of a change where we look at games. And not specifically kind of any game, but more of the board game variety. Now the particular board game I'm referring to is the Alien vs. Predator edition of Clue. I have to say I'm really excited about having this in my collection. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have anyone to play with, whoever is in fact a Predator or Alien vs. Predator fan, but it is known that in the comic book, as now part of canon, Dark Horse Comics produced Alien vs. Predator, and in those say comic book series, they do capture an alien queen to allow the Predators to lay eggs on certain planets to develop much more worthier and deadly foes. Also, I do think that in this consideration, that lore reigns true in this game. So you play up to six players, those are the rules, two to six players, and you have six different Predator characters. You have the Spartan, Berserker, Elite, Scar, Wolf, and Ancient. So you have to figure out, as a player, which Predator captured the Alien Queen. Was it Wolf in the cave with the Plasma Caster, or was it Scar in the jungle with the Shuriken? Now in the Alien vs. Predator movie, Scar did try to use a shuriken to try to harm the alien queen in the film, but unfortunately that didn't work out in its favor too well. But I really do like this edition of Clue. I know that U.S. Alphalete, licensed by Hasbro, did other renditions like Big Bang Theory. You have to figure out who sat in Sheldon's spot, or they also did, I believe, it was a Walking Dead version of Clue. But I really do like this as a Predator fan because you get to play as a Predator. The only difference is you have to figure out well, which Predator, other yourself or anyone else member of your player team, figure out who captured the Queen and what with what. So I do like this a lot. So what I'm going to do in this part of our review is I'll show you the contents of the box and the game pieces and the characters along with everything that comes with it. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can tell, this is the box. So what we'll do is just lift the lid off of it. Set it out to the side. As you can tell, you already have the instruction manual, the very famous clue envelope. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and look at each piece. So these aside. So as you can tell, this is gonna be the board piece you have where you will land on the Predator ship. And then depending upon, of course, which space you'll go into, try to figure out if it's in the location of either a cave, an island, swamp, you also have a volcano, or also over here on the very top, you also have a Aztec temple as well from the movie. Now, I know it's a little bit hard to tell because again, this particular board takes up so much space, but this is usually where you'll start off, and I really like this part here because this ship is actually from the movie Predators, the 2010 film. But I do like this terrain to figure out exactly where the Alien Queen is hiding. Now the other cool thing or aspect is you have your notepad to figure out exactly as the clues where it actually be, the who, where, and what. And also of course you can write down your notes here. And there's a little bit of limitations to how many times you can play this game. I'm not sure if whether or not Monopoly or US Apple, I'm sorry, can replenish this where you can keep playing the game as often or as many times as you want. Now, of course, you have your cards that go along with it. So at first you have your character cards. So the first one you'll have is Scar, Elite, Spartan, which is actually from the Alien vs. Predator 2010 game by Sega and made by Rebellion, which I thought was really cool. You have Berserker from 2010 film Predators, you have a wolf from AVPR. You have also the Asian Predator from AVP and the famous flashback scene. And then you have your famous weapons, which we're going to get into here in a minute. So here you have laid out before you all six game pieces as far as the characters. So you have, which I again believe is Scar. 
you have the Berserker purple and the Elite, which is a green. So I really do like these. We're gonna take a closer look as to how much detail is each in the character. I do believe they're pretty much the exact same sculpt, but let's take a look at each one to figure out exactly if we can look at them to tell who is who. And I would have to say, based on the game pieces themselves, it's they're all sculpted the exact same way. So pretty much the way that you would determine which, which character is which is based on their color and their color alone. But the sculpt is very simplistic, which is fine. But I do like, however, that you do have those small intricate details of the head, the dreads, the plasma caster on the shoulder. You have the armor, the loincloth, the guards, the gauntlets. It's all there as a character, very small pieces, but they're all sculpted the exact same. So again, the only way that you can determine which particular predator is which is in fact by their color and which character card you will give each person in your player team. So here we have all five weapons that come with the game, which I think is really fantastic. And what you'll have is you have the Plasma Caster, the Shuriken, the Whip, Net Gun from Predator 2, your Gauntlet Blades, and the Convict Stick or the Extendable Spear, and that's also from Predator 2. So pretty much you have is Predator 1, AVP, and Predator 2, or this one's pretty much universal because all Predators use double-bladed gauntlets. So I'll take a closer look at each weapon to see how much detail goes into these metal pieces. The first one we're looking at is the Plasma Cannon. Now, I don't expect this to be extremely detailed, but you can tell just for the intricate design and the cutouts that are placed on the cannon that this is in fact a Plasma Cannon. The other one we are looking at is the Shuriken. The Shuriken is on a flat piece, almost like a uh, silver coin, but I do like the intricate detail they placed on the Shuriken so it can go into the envelope and there's no any sharp edges. It's simply just a Shuriken on a flat based metal piece. And I like that a lot too. The other one that I really like though is gonna be the whip. The whip, I think, has way more detail and it's a standalone piece, uh, and I really like that a lot. So if, in fact, you get Wolf as a character, I would think it'd be really cool that if you are playing Wolf, it would be the Wolf with the whip in either the jungle, temple, or cave. So I really like this whip detail and design for as a weaponal piece in the Clue game. The other one is, of course, the net gun. And I really like the net gun too. It has just as much detail as the whip. Uh, but you know this is the net gun from Predator 2. So I like the fact that unfortunately you don't get the City Hunter as a character, but you do get the integral design of the net gun from the movie Predator 2. So I really like that too. The other one is going to be the double bladed gauntlet. Uh, again, because of it being metal, I'm sure that with USAopoly and Hasbro with the child-based restrictions, they didn't want this to be a sharp object. It can still be swallowed, which is why I think there is in fact an age restriction for playing this game because there are small pieces that can be either be broken or swallowed. But I do like how this is not necessarily a dangerous item uh, that can be played with anybody in your group. But I do believe it's for at least ages 5 and up, if not older. Last but not least is going to be the combi stick or spear from Predator 2. And I really like how it's on a stand or display stand. It kind of reminds me of the Master Replicas stand and how they're able to integrate that into the game. So you have a Master Replica based rendition of the spear from Predator 2 used as a weaponal game piece as figuring out who used this to capture the Alien Queen. In my personal opinion, I love how all the character game pieces are exactly detailed to the Predators, the weapons are even more detailed than the characters themselves, and the rules I didn't want to focus on too much because Clue has been around forever, for as long as I can remember. So I'm 36 years old, which is today's my birthday. So that's one of the announcements I wanted to make. 
Today happens to be my birthday. I'm officially, as of today's date, 36 years of age. So this game has been around forever. So if you've played the original Clue with Miss Scarlet, uh, Colonel Mustard, and so on and so forth, it's really not that hard to figure out. But I really do like the idea of having an Alien vs. Predator where I get to play the Predator and figure out who captured the Alien Queen. Uh, it, this just makes it more fun and more themed for me as wanting to keep playing this game. Like, but again, unfortunately, where I am currently at, no one really wants to play these kind of games. They think it's either immature or childish. You're either into you know cars, money, your job, if you've got kids. I know I have a son, but uh, he's into video games, not necessarily board games. But again, like I said, I'm very happy to have in my collection and with the rules that are pretty much standard. The other announcement that I mentioned before at the beginning of this video is that Loot Crate is at it again. But this time is not necessarily a Loot Crate subscription as it is much more of a loot wearable. So my meaning that is that this time around, Loot Crate is giving us what I've been wanting to get is Predator Pajama Pants Bottoms. So they've now, for the month of April, their theme is Showdown, and Predator happens to be one of those wearable items, and yes, they are pajama-based bottoms, which is why I think it's really cool to have it go with my Loot Crate t-shirt, artwork done by Matt Ferguson. And what I'm going to provide you the viewer is a link down in the description below to where it'll give you five dollars off that price. Now normally the Loot Crate wearable for this month's theme is $17.99 with my link that provides 30% off that is $12.59 actually by using that link will get you that much of a discount so instead of paying the $18 or whatever it is for shipping or sales tax you only pay between 13 to possibly $14 instead. So if you are in fact a Predator fan, make sure you click on the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. I hope you liked this video and if you did and if that link is helpful for you to grabbing these Predator pajamas from Loot Crate, give me a like. I greatly appreciate the support and I will see you next week for my other review which is the Loyal Subjects Predator 2 figure vinyl case. So again, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. I will be enjoying my birthday, and as always, happy hunting.